Basically, I started reading it because I was so curious about what is this faith that the Palestinian people have. It's something so deep and so profound that I literally, I was just drawn to learn more about Islam. I started reading the Quran the other day and I swear it's answering the exact questions I had in my mind about what's happening in Palestine right now. Like how can God allow these things to happen? And so I'm reading here from the Quran, the first chapter, it says here, God is not unaware of what you do. And another thing that I really, really needed to hear, you shall not shed each other's blood nor turn your people out of their homes. You consented to this and bore witness. Yet here you are slaying one another and driving some of your own people from their homelands. Literally, exactly the situation that's going on right now and like I feel peace in my heart and I'm not Muslim. I had been feeling this really intense pull from inside my heart to start reading the Quran for two weeks now. And I swear my mind is blown, my heart is changed, my eyes are open, I can finally see and I'm literally tearing up. I never thought a book would affect me that much. And now I'm starting to feel that same tug on my heart to start praying. I can't explain why. I've never had the, the urge to, to learn how, how to pray, but I have this pull and I can't stop thinking about it. Can someone please tell me how I feel more peace in my heart after reading 10 pages from the Quran than 25 years of being raised Christian? I never liked reading the Bible. Um, I never felt that I connected with it. Like, for some reason, me, personally, I could never get that one-on-one -on -one connection through reading the Bible. But as I'm reading the Quran, it's answering exactly the questions that's in my mind. It's like God heard my questions and my prayers, and it's in this book. I'm reading the Quran, and I'm tearing up because... I've been so worried about the Palestinian people and especially the kids who've been dying. And it says here in the Quran, do not say that those who are killed in God's cause are dead. They are alive, but you are not aware of it. We shall surely, certainly test you with fear and hunger and loss of property, lives and crops. Give good news to those who endure with fortitude. Why does this just give me so much peace? Those who say when afflicted with a calamity, we belong to God and to him we shall return. Are the ones who will have blessings and mercy from their Lord. It is they who are on the right path. This is exactly what the people in Palestine are doing. They keep thanking God when everything is going wrong. And we can't even thank God when everything is going right. We have a lot to learn. I'm not even a Muslim yet, but I just did my first Salah from all of your help. And I literally started crying at the end when I started to make Dua. Like, I've never felt this, like, just much, like, emotion in my heart and peace. And, like, you know, it's just overwhelming. In my last video, I talked about how I felt a strong pull in my heart to start reading the Quran, and I didn't know why. And I just read a piece from the Quran that made everything make sense it says here when my servants ask you about me say that i am near i respond to the call of one who calls whenever he calls to me and i just now remembered that two weeks ago i prayed a, a prayer to god please guide me please show me the truth of of what's the correct religion and the correct place for me to be in 
and I just left it at that. And then after that, I started feeling this tug at my heart. And yesterday, it was so strong that I couldn't stop but read the Quran. Yesterday, I felt a strong pull to start praying. And then I did my first prayer today as like a practice. I'm not Muslim yet, but inshallah. It's just amazing because God answered my prayers. He answered my call by calling me into Islam. I feel that's so, so beautiful. And I feel so blessed and lucky and small, but also like seen at the same time somehow. It's just amazing feeling. Oh my gosh. I literally have a response for all of the Islamophobia that I've heard in US about Islam. People like to say that that Islam and the Quran promote uh, terrorism and violence, but they obviously haven't read the Quran because here in 2196, it's saying, and fight in God's cause against those who wage war against you, but do not commit aggression for surely God does not love aggressors. So in other words, if someone is fighting you, you can defend yourself, but do not go and start fights or start wars with people because God does not love aggressors. <clears throat> Just keep in mind that the Quran does not promote violence, but it does promote defending yourself against aggressors. See, a lot of people who say that Islam is terrorism has not read the Quran because they're using a sentence from the Quran, but they're not taking the full sentence. They're taking half of the sentence and leaving the most important part out. Slay them wherever you find them. This is what Western media is using. No, it goes on to say, those who fight against you, drive them out of the places from which they drove you for religious persecution is worse than killing. Do not fight them at the sacred mosque unless they fight you there. I mean, the Western media takes the first part that you have permission to slay and they run with it. Islam is here and you're there. You missed it. Try again. People in my comments have been sending me verses from the Quran in order to show that it's a violent religion and to push me away from Islam. But after reading them, it makes me like Islam more. Okay, so let's read the verse that they recommended for me. It is in Al Anfal 8:12. When your Lord commanded the angels saying, "I am with you, so make sh make those who believe stand firm. I will instill fear in the hearts of those who deny the truth. So strike their necks and strike all their finger joints." This sounds pretty bad, right? From an outside perspective. So I can understand how they're shocked to see this in such a peaceful uh, religion but this specific section here is talking about the battle of Badr if you don't know what this is basically the disbelievers went to kill all the Muslims in Medina after the Mah after um, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him had brought all of his people to Medina to escape religious persecution and violence against his people then the disbelievers went to him in Medina to start a fight. So basically the Muslims were super scared because oh my gosh, what are we gonna do against 1000 soldiers when we're only 300 and we don't have the power to fight against 1000. So this verse specifically is God encouraging them that he will give them a victory in this next battle. And also this isn't to say that God in the Quran is unjust. No, it says here, in 819 it continues to say if you were seeking a judgment a judgment has now come to you if you desist it will be better for you but if you return to hostility we too shall return and your host will avail you not however numerous it may be and know that surely god is with the believers so if you fight against my people who believe and follow me, know that God is on their side and you will not win. This is talking about a battle. Read the context of the Quran, read the whole Quran, make sure you understand every sentence before you start spreading lies 
and spreading such hate against such a peaceful group of people, Muslims. I wish I would have read this verse from the Quran three years ago, because there's a girl that really needed to hear this. For the life of this world is nothing but an illusory enjoyment. That girl from three years ago seems like a distant memory to me now, but at that time, I was looking for God in all the wrong places. I was chasing followers, likes. I was chasing validation on social media. I had the money, I had the fame. I had the validation on social media, but it never filled this hole in my heart. And I always wondered why. Because this is what we're told to chase nowadays. The social media fame, the, you know, all of these Instagram models, uh, Fashion Nova baddies, you know, this is so pushed on us nowadays. But when you're really in that, that field, that area, you feel empty. There is an emptiness that I can't really describe, but there is a hole in your chest and you'll start to feel it. Maybe at first it'll be fun. Wow, you get some extra money. People like your stuff. Um, then as you go on day by day, you start to feel this hole. It's coming bigger. It's because all of this, it's fake. All of this, it's just an illusion. And it's keeping you from what's really going to fill that hole, which is a connection with God. You're worth more. You're worth so much more than a few follows or a few comments from strangers on the internet. And I wish somebody would have told me this then. Salam alaikum. I'm no longer a Christian reading Quran. I am now a Muslim reading Quran. Alhamdulillah, I am Muslim today. I just took my shahada and oh my gosh, I have never felt so happy or so at peace. Alhamdulillah, that Allah, he guided me here that he guided me back to him, to the truth, to my true path. I really feel that I have a purpose in life again. I really feel that I'm on the right path and I'm so happy to be Muslim.